Hi. Hi guys, welcome to my little video. Yeah. Um I don't know what to do. But yeah. Hmm. But anyway. Soon I'm gonna get a gaming PC for my birthday and soon it'll be my cousin's birthday and um I'm playing Robber Bandits. Yeah. And I'm gonna get a video camera so it looks better. Okay. You can watch me play games, yeah. You can play games. Yeah. I'm gonna change my character. And I bought a few bucks yesterday. I don't know why I'm saying it, I'm just saying. Because why not, I guess. Oh. <laughs> uh, that is mega. I'm a hot dog, yo. Hmm. I got some mist. <laughs> don't do that, don't do that. I'm gonna be in a barrel and some. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. No. No. Yes. I am dying. Yeah. Look at me now, guys. Look at me. Buddy, look at me now. Look at me. I am Mr. Hot Dog Man. Yeah, I'm Mr. Hot Dog. Mm. I'm going public. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. I haven't been doing pushes. But I do have to do pushes at me. You know. Yeah. Hmm. Let's put background music on. Nah. I don't know. What to do? <clears throat> Play Roblox, you can play Gummies. I can play all the games. Like Call of Duty. Roblox. I'm really, I, I like Roblox. It's actually a really fun game. I'm gonna get headless on it. I PC. I wish, I wish, so I got told that I might get it. Like I might get my game. If I don't get my I get it. <sighs> and I'm still gonna keep my Xbox and my PlayStation. I, I cause I've had them for lots of years, more years. Um ever longer than I've had this channel. Yeah. I've had the long run. I've had my stuff. He's. I've had my consoles for a really longer than I've had my channel. Cause I've had it. I got it a long time ago. Like my first Christmas in this house. That's when I got my Xbox. My mum, mom, mom, me, and my mum went to the shop and got the PS4. It's her, she says, but I use it more than she actually does not use it anymore because I just don't want to use it. That's all. I, I prefer to play Roblox on laptop because it's similar to PC and um, also uh, there's something you can do what you can do with a PC where like 
um, you can just go on the Google thing on the laptop. It's called the Edge, Microsoft Edge. You just go on that while you're still playing Roblox and stay in a game. You can still stay in a game and just change your character and then you can just reset yourself and then boom, you're the character you just changed to. That's what I is also good. Oh yeah, I'm going to put my music on. See, that's good. I did that. <laughs> that was me. Uh, yeah. Um, what should the music be? I'm going to put, uh, Giga. Giga Chan. Yeah, I'm going to listen to that music. That's good. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, sorry. There we go. <laughs> so now I can go to the gym. Get strong. Oh, that was so funny. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> that was good. Fun.
summer, make it incredible. Make it scum. <laughs> so you know you meet a faulty assured. It's an exercise. <sighs> <sighs> That was good. If you're brand new to Fortnite, this game can definitely be overwhelming. I have lots of beginner tutorials on my channel to help people get started. But today, I'm starting a new series for absolute beginners <coughs> on how to peace control. If you don't know what peace control is, it's basically the ability to get builds around your opponent and use those builds to end fights. So there's this guy named Raider464 in the community, and he builds the best practice maps. He has three maps for improving your peace control, That's and good. each map gets a little bit more advanced. So we're going to be starting with the first ever Raider peace control map. All right, so we're going to go through each of these maps one by one, and I recommend you do the same if you're new to this. Starting with drill number one. These drills get a little more complicated as we go, but drill number one is pretty simple. All you want to do is place a cone over the enemy. The reason you place a cone first is because cones place really far away. Look how far I can place that cone. I could still get it over top of his ramp there. So you want to place the cone and then come over here, get the wall, and build around the enemy. You can even do it from behind a triangle edit like this. You can put a cone in your box just so the enemy wouldn't be able to place a ramp over top of you. One of the biggest things throughout all these drills is you want to try to avoid showing yourself to the enemy. Look at how I'm behind the peak here. That is a really important thing, and that's going to be the goal with each of these drills. Get the builds around the opponent without actually showing myself to the opponent. That way you can get right into your peak shot as soon as you place the builds. Moving on to drill number two, it's the same thing from the other side. This one, however, is from a more awkward angle. Look, if I want to get that left wall, I kind of have to show myself to the enemy, and I take damage. The way around this is you can quickly get the builds, what? and then reset the edit, and then set up a new one. Yeah. Or you can get it while moving to the side, just like that. Just quickly get the builds. I missed that back one. You quickly get the builds while running into your peak. Anytime you want to go back, you just emote, by the way. Drill number three. A good way to do this is just like that. You do a triple edit of place a wall, edit the wall, place a cone, and then jump into the peak. Another way to handle this is like this. I placed a, a floor right above me, edit the back tile, and place a ramp. From here, you can jump and shoot the enemy just like that. Anytime an enemy is a lair,